Right, so tops first. I'm going to do the doors later. Put the level on there. It's touching there. It's touching there. There's a gap here. These shelves are going to sit right up to the front pretty much. So none of that is going to be actually seen. But because I am who I am. Put my square on there and I can see I'm what, three or four mil out there. So if this fancy gadget is square, put pencil line there, pencil line there. Then I can move that in just by that little bit, that little bit that's out of square on there. I just need to work to work to that, I'll rip that down. Right, so now I've cut that, I've got that point there, which is there. So I'm going to go. I'm going to measure that. I want to come to about 105.5, I think. 20 mil, 20 mil overhand. I just got 15 mil. So 105. So 105 from that front edge, and I'm just going to cut it square. Should really work off the face, off the front edge, because that's the square that I'm interested in. But this board is parallel. Maybe enough. Now, I'm back there, but if I cut this board square, it'll touch at the front. So what I need now is that measurement to there. I could go back, but you're working off a, a random point then. That distance is better. Bollocks. So that's not bad. It's slightly out there, don't really matter. But I need to go back by this much. You see I'm almost touching back there. Back a bit there. This is parallel, 30mm there. 30mm there. That's how much I want to go back, because that's it's roughly 15mm. So 30 off 30 will give me a 15 mil overhang. So if I set my scribers to that, maybe just a little more. Because I want that to touch. But it doesn't matter but if there's a little gap at the back of here. And I'll cut 
cut that off. I'm just going to use track saw, just, you know, do it in segments. Seventeen mil. Seventeen mil. Seventeen mil. I'm gonna leave it at that. Let's get some sandpaper on this edge. Right, I lay it down, staple back on.
Oh, did she? She never uh, mum ended up that way, or used to do. What's your name then? They just call me Gid, G-I-D, Gid. It's a nickname I got when I was little. Right. And then when I went self-employed, it was all Gid will do it for you. Yeah. So... I'm not telling you my real name, but it's, <laughs> it's um... It's what everybody calls me, so... Right, these have got to go flush, I think. I'll make that parallel. And because that house wall, step back, because that house wall might be a bit bent, I'll concentrate on this one. This is your focal. This is the main focal point, I think. That needs to be straight. I'm going to put the other one together first. And I put that baton on slightly out there. I put that baton on first. Because I could have put these in place, put a couple of pencil lines on, take it off. Noisy cleaner. I could have put a couple of pencil lines in, taken this shelf unit off, screwed a baton down for it to fix back to, but I don't want to lift it down again. So I'll be able to screw up from underneath, just measure back, drill and screw up from underneath to give that back some bit of strength. Same with these. Once I work out where it's going to be, put pencil line around, shuffle it out the way, drill a hole, then drill up, screw up, so I say.
I don't know if you can see, but I've left a little gap. See, this is sitting back a bit here. I don't want it to make it flush because all this is going to get painted. So I'll get some gubbins on here. So I'll get some paint on there, paint on here. And by then it will come out here. Like I said, there's a little gap down there so it shouldn't bind. And I'm just being light with the glue and I'm just pinning it on. So hopefully. Just hopefully it won't come off, but if I have to take it off, then I can. Yeah, nearly there. Yeah. Right, same again. Pack that out a little bit to allow for a bit of paint.